Our summit and center of excellence launch comes from the vision that the staff at the Forensic Laboratory developed in 2019. And that vision states that we strive to be a recognized center of excellence for forensic science in the Caribbean region. We have received the support of the U.S. State Department through its Bureau of International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Agency, INL, and they have supported our initiative or our drive to be a center of excellence. This event, the summit on the 10th of October, is our first event towards being a center of excellence and making a contribution regionally in forensic science, but more importantly, establishing ourselves as a center of excellence to provide forensic services, accredited forensic services to other countries of the region. In attendance, we expect to have commissioners of police, DPPs, we've invited forensic personnel in other Caribbean territories where they exist. So they are probably doing crime scene work or drug chemistry work or you know some sort of forensic work. We've also invited the U.S. Ambassador to Barbados and the OECS, Ms. Linda Tagliatella, as well as we've invited other diplomats um, stationed in St. Lucia. Our Prime Minister is expected to be there and the members of the diplomatic corps as well as our Ministry of Justice officials. International accreditation gives us the recognition that that we are a lab that does great work in forensic science. This accreditation, what it tells the public most um, specifically, is that the lab meets the standards and can do the work that any other lab within outside of our shores would do if they were also accredited. The other thing that this accreditation does for us is it Pro, it not only promotes the lab's ability to do work, but it gives us um, an assurance that what we do, the results that we give out, are results that can be trusted. The courts need that trust within the with the evidence that we um, or the results that we give, and so that gives the the courts, the police, the public assurance that what they are getting is um, results that that matter. Results that um, <clears throat> are trustworthy. We hope to achieve the visibility of the forensic laboratory, this forensic laboratory, having attained ISO 17025 2017 accreditation. Our visibility and our commitment to quality and to maintenance of standards. Once that is established, we expect that we will, we can impact other agencies like ourselves in other Caribbean territories to strive towards not just accreditation, but strive towards quality and, and adherence to standards. Secondly, we want to establish some sort of networking so that members of the forensic community can collaborate, can interact, can share best practice and learn from one another. And lastly, we hope to promote our laboratory as one that can provide accredited services across the region. The summit is an, a great example of a collaborative um, initiative with the INL and with the United States. And I think it is just one of the, the, very, the very start of collaborative um, examples that we will have because of our accreditation status. Our primary and our fundamental goal is to impact St. Lucians uh, and to make a contribution towards the criminal justice system here. We want to let every solution understand that the work that we do is for them on their behalf anyone who may have been impacted by any sort of violence so our mission really is to provide quality robust scientific services that are objective and, and of good quality so that solutions can be proud of the science that comes out of this facility helping them to achieve justice, that justice call that we all hear so often these days. And we want to, we really want to establish ourselves as, as being fundamentally a St. Lucian lab that does great work for St. Lucians and helps them to, to achieve justice for their loved ones or themselves. And by extension, we want to impact the Caribbean with respect to standards, you know, that goal of standards and quality and just to promote science, the field of science and forensic science in the region, 
with its impact on the criminal justice system. Having attained ISO 17025 accreditation in July, we attained accreditation with two of our units and DNA was outstanding. However, as of September 2023, we completed our DNA audit to ISO 17025 and we were successful in the completion of that audit with no non-conformances. So we can now add DNA analysis to our suite of accredited services. Our goal is to be more impactful towards all of the gun violence that we are experiencing in St. Lucia.